Why is it whenever other girls put their hair up like this, they look so sleek, clean girl aesthetic, really, really nice and pretty, and I look like a squire from the freaking Middle Ages. I look like Lord Forquad from freaking Shrek. <laughs> How I was a qualified hairdresser at one stage is beyond me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get into the makeup. Let's just get into something that I'm somewhat kind of good at. So I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be checking this tiny wee primer from Bobbi Brown and I actually love this wee product. I think I'm actually gonna buy like the bigger version once this wee sample size is done. But it's from Bobbi Brown and it's Bobby Brown Extra. Basically it's the Illuminating Moisture Balm. I actually find myself using like the tiniest wee bit in this on days where I'm actually not wearing any makeup. It's just like a really nice moisturiser but it gives the skin like such a really really nice glow. It just feels so so nice in the skin. Like as you can see it just leaves the most beautiful like wee glow to the skin. Kind of like a natural like glue from within. <laughs> I'm going to be checking the two from Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover Foundations. I'm going to be mixing these two shades here, N6 and N3. So N6 is far too dark for me, even though I did do my tan last night, it's still too dark for me. Um, so I'm going to mix it, as I say, with N3, which is too light for me. So mix together, they kind of balance each other out. And see... <laughs> I do not know how many of these foundations I have. It's like my all time favourite foundation now. It's like such a go to. And I think nearly every single one that I have, the pump's fucked. <laughs> so I literally just have to like take like the lid off and just put it onto like a wee palette or my desk. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to be a classy gal when I eat it. <laughs> That shade should be okay. I tried to mix it as best I could, but oh well. If it's not perfect, what's well, new? <laughs> if it was perfect, it wouldn't be one of my videos. Not taking a more foundation on that sponge, and I'm just going to go around. Pressing that into the skin. Instead of actually finishing off my base, I'm actually going to start on my eyes and kind of get them out of the way. And I already know what I'm doing. This is the one of these wee palettes from the Sandwich. Sandwich? Why did I say that as if I had a fork up my ass? <laughs> Sandwich. Basically like the wee sandwich palettes from P. Louise. I think they just come in a pack of four, but this wee slice here, I'm just gonna call it a slice. <laughs> All of the Marie Four Pan palettes with different color stories, but this one, I absolutely love this one just for the shades on it, of course. And I'm gonna focus on this really, really like orangey yellow, kind of like a true yellow gold. Really, really nicely pigmented, really creamy. Look at Honestly, look at them. How stunning is that? So I think, do you know what? I'm loving that yellow gold so much. I just want to splatter that over my eye. And then I also have the Beauty Bay Barry 2.0 palette. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Honestly, if you're looking for this palette or you've had your eyes in this palette for quite a long time, get it now when you can because it's actually on sale at the minute on Beauty Bay. I think I might actually use it today anyway because I think this colour will go really well with that shimmer. I'm just going to take a mixture between blonde and turmeric. And of course, I'm going to be taking this on my 01, which is my big fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to be popping this just within the crease. I'm actually not going to be too precise or anything with this because I'm just going to go crazy with that shimmer. So it doesn't need to be too perfect, but I still want like a wee bit of like a transition to kind of poke through a wee bit. I'm also going to drag this out as well, just at the outer corner. Just the tiniest wee bit though. That turmeric shade is actually so, so nice in the eyes, you know. Just looking at this palette and like 
try most of the shades of the past couple of days it's honestly the perfect palette for this time of year honestly because you obviously have like your neutral brown tones and transitional shades where you can create like any type of smoky brown eye you have your black your dark browns you have a mixture of your mattes and shimmers but you obviously kind of have like your bright wearable type of colors as well like your oranges your yellows i love this row here where it's like mahogany's reds raspberries like just berry tones and then obviously like this yellowish um mustardy row as well beautiful it's honestly like the most gorgeous gorgeous palette especially for this time of year and you can't beat beauty base forma as well they're so good and i'm now going to go into the sandwich slice from p louise i'm going to take sauce I love that name, sauce, class, this. And you might call this dedication, but I'm actually going to take my two nails off. I'm sorry, that's so gross. <laughs> um, so I'm just literally just going to apply this straight away with my finger. Oh. I'm gonna stop right there. So while I was doing this, I, I kind of thought that I would introduce a wee bit of darkness on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go into my 06 brush. And I'm gonna be slightly dragging it out as well. Not caring too much about how precise and everything I'm gonna be because obviously I've got my foundation on but not my concealer because I'm gonna kind of sharpen it up with my. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna sharpen it up with my. Oh my god! I'm gonna sharpen it up with my concealer. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking. Yeah, that's looking so much better. I think it just would have looked a wee bit. With that colour all over the lid. Yeah, it could look really, really nice, but I think like just this. A wee bit of darkness just in the outer corner never hurt nobody. And then now back into a sauce. Just gonna take that on my finger. And because I've darkened up the outer corner, I'm gonna focus it more just on the inner corner for now. And mainly up the centre of the lid. I'm going to take a wee bit more like on my finger, like the flat part of my finger now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spread it. So I'm going to spread it out to the outer corner. And I'm also going to blend it. As you can see, I kind of packed it on up to my crease. But I'm now going to kind of blend it up further than my crease. Kind of to like my upper crease, brow bone and stuff. Not to be dramatic or anything, but I think that's actually the nicest shimmer formula wise I've actually ever used. Sometimes it is so, so hard to find like a really, really nice shimmer that isn't too gritty or bitty. Or whenever you actually apply it to the eyes, it's not going chunky or anything. This is really nice. <laughs> it's just applying so nicely. Okay, so I'm really liking how this is looking so far, but I think I'm gonna take a tiny wee bit of the pressed glitter from ColourPop, the one on this wee palette here. I might as well just take that same finger. So just taking like the tiniest wee bit of that glitter, I'm just pressing it all over the lid. Like I'm not too sure if you can just like see like the wee sparkles every now and again, because I'm not wanting it to be intense. So taking the Maven Beauty gel liner I'm just going to do a wee bit of a wing and I think before it kind of sets I'm actually going to take the brown shade from the Beauty Bay palette, probably this one, or a wee bit of the black as well but probably mainly the brown one and I'm going to kind of like smudge the liner out. And then just smudging that with the dark brown. Just before it has a chance to dry. Okay, so just finishing off the skin now and then I think I might actually go back onto the eyes and do a bit of something. Well, we always need to do the lower lash line, but I don't think I'm finished with the eyes just yet. So I'm going to be using my HMB Cosmetics Concealer. 
think it was last night. Yes, last night. H&B Cosmetics, Holly Burns brand. She's coming out with a foundation. Oh my god. <laughs> like, if you obviously watched my videos, you would know that I absolutely love this concealer. Like, it is honestly so, so good. I absolutely love it. And the fact that she's now coming out with a foundation, I love that. The packaging looks beautiful. Apparently, it's a full coverage foundation with like a really nice luminous finish and honestly if it's anything like this concealer it will be absolutely amazing i'm actually even using one of the darker shades today to cream bronze love it so so good so i'm just kind of wondering is the foundation going to come to be perfect cosmetics because you can obviously get hnb cosmetics on be perfect cosmetics <laughs> Um, and you can use my discount code to get 20% off anything like site wide. And my discount code has actually changed with Be Perfect Cosmetics. It used to be EXF20, whereas I think now it's 20 EXF. But honestly, do try the concealer because it is so, so good. And obviously, use my discount code, get a wee bit of money off it. The discount code I have with Be Perfect is affiliate, by the way. So whenever it's used, I do get a wee bit of commission. But it saves you guys money at the same time. So I'm just going to use the, what shade is it I use for cream bronzing? 5W. I think this is actually the shade that I got um, off her recommendation as well. I was watching one of Holly Boone's tutorials. I could be completely wrong here, but I think this is one of the shades that she was actually using. This for cream bronzing is amazing. It's so good. Like it just blends out effortlessly, just like the concealer. It is the concealer. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> taking the Made by Mitchell blushes, I'm taking Mango Daiquiri and Sweet Cheeks, the pink one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm mixing these as well. Every time I mix these two shades together, <laughs> I'm in awe at how beautiful the shade actually ends up being. And I'm pretty sure he is bound to have a blur shade that color like he's bound to like it just looks like the most beautiful like sorbet 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 <laughs> it looks nobby your uh color it just looks so beautiful and i'm sure there's obviously an easier way to do this like actually buying it instead of having to mix these every single time <laughs> but oh well do you know what it is? I'm actually holding off until Black Friday. See, this time of year, like October, November, I buy no makeup. Um, if there's any makeup products I see throughout the year that are a wee bit pricey, I'll leave it until Black Friday and see if it comes down in price or whatever, and then I'll just treat myself then. Um, but no, like most brands obviously do such amazing deals on Black Friday. So just around this time of year, I don't buy any makeup at all. Just just wait until Black Friday. <laughs> them two shades mixed together, like if you have them and you maybe don't want to splurge out or you don't want to spend the cash on getting another one, mix these two together. It has, it makes the most beautiful, kind of like an orange sorbet, like corally peachy color. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a wee bit of highlighting, just like the tiniest wee bit. I'm gonna take this wee one from Be Perfect Cosmetics, the Get What Highlighter in Skin Sheen. Absolutely love this one. As you can see, I've hit pan quite a bit in it actually. <laughs> but I like to just take this and just dot this just up my nose. And then for my face highlight, I'm going to take this one from Colourpop, Addicted to You, Super Shock Collider. I'm just going to use my finger. So just the tiniest wee bit. And then again, I'm going to go into a wee bit of this one. And I just like to put that just on the highest points of my cheek. And I'm going to top up my blush with this wee one from Revolution Pro. <laughs> this wee blush here is absolutely gorgeous by the way. It's very very similar to what I find um, the Hourglass blushes. I'm not too sure whether it's similar in formula because I don't own any Hourglass blushes but just with how it looks the fact that it has obviously like the colour and then like wee marbleized swirls through it. 
it's just a really nice blush actually if you don't wear any highlighter wee blushes like this are very very good because obviously like you have like the wee bits of shimmer on it so obviously if you bring it up quite high onto the cheekbones it's going to give you kind of like a wee bit of a highlight effect as long with the blush look and this is in the shade peach is it yeah it's their luster blushes as well by the way i'll obviously link it down below for you it's but you can get it also on Beauty Bay. So basically anything that I link from Beauty Bay, do check it out because I, they still have a seal on at the minute. And I was actually having a nose out at the other night and kind of had to stop myself. <laughs> oh, do you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I really love that blush actually. It looks so, so nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> love it i absolutely love that like i did not put on a white lot of highlighter on my cheeks at all and look at that and they have so many beautiful colors in this as well by the way but as i say this is the peach one i have these two wee ones from morphe i have mastermind i'm not too sure what shade to use but that's why i have two of them right here so that's icon i think one shade is like my fake tan shade and my non fake tan shade so yeah, I think it's pretty obvious what my fake tan shade is and I think it's this one, Icon. Whereas this one here is Mastermind, it's a wee bit lighter obviously. See these bronzers from Morphe, they are fab. They're so, so good. BK Beauty 104 brush. I actually think I have a discount code with this brand, you know, BK Beauty. Okay, so yeah, I have a discount code with BK Beauty. These are like luxury brushes, by the way. My discount code is Emma10, so that will get you 10% off BK Beauty brushes. I'll obviously link it down below for it. <laughs> I'll obviously link it down below for you. And blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm also trying to see here, is it an affiliate? Because obviously I would like to mention that if it is. Yeah, okay, so it's also an affiliate code, so that means that anybody that does use it, I get the smallest bit of commission from it, okay? So just to obviously want to be completely transparent with that. So, yeah. Check that out. <laughs> okay, so I actually just went off camera there to actually charge my camera because it died on me. But while I was doing that, I done my lower lash line. Um, I just put a wee bit of mascara on my lower lash line, obviously, and I took the Beauty Bay palette. I went into Acorn, the shade here, put that along my lower lash line, and then I blended it out with this dark brown. Didn't really make sense the fact that I went with the lighter shade than the darker shade, but that's what I done anyway. And I literally just blended it out and applied it and everything with my 05 brush from my brush collection and my 02 also from my brush collection. So. And also, see, while well, it's just actually in my head, um, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for the amount of years that I've been purchasing my brushes recently. <laughs> it honestly means so, so much. So thank you so, so much to anybody who has purchased my brush set uh, since uh, Buff and Blend is obviously closing down. And obviously now that it is November, guys, they're going to be closing down this month. So if you haven't got my brushes and you're wanting them, Honestly, I get them now while you can. Like, they're obviously still in stock, no worries at all. Like, even if they're still in stock after Buff and Blend closed down, you're still going to be able to buy them, okay? So, like, no worries, no rush or anything, but you just, yeah, just once they're gone, they're gone, and they're obviously on clearance sale at the minute. So, honestly, get them now while you can, and as well as that, now that it's what, the second? What day is it today? The third! It's the third of November! <laughs> so are we allowed to talk about Christmas? <laughs> um, Christmas presents guys. Honestly, Christmas present to anybody? Yourself? Whoever? <laughs> and then going on with the lippy stick from Colourpop. This is in the shade Ink Blot. Oh, this is a matte formula. Nice. The combo isn't too bad actually, but I think I'm looking for something a wee bit more nude. Give me two wee ticks. So I've just grabbed the MAC, the MAC and Jimmy Genevieve. <laughs> 
lipstick. What? <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to use this up. So. Okay guys, so this has come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much so, so for watching. I screwed up big time with the inner corner things. Thank God I didn't film it. Um, the camera died again. <laughs> oh, it's tickling my ear. Um, but yeah guys, this was actually nothing like what I had pictured in my mind before I started the tutorial. And that's sometimes what makes it kind of fun. I was literally just heading into this tutorial expecting to use the, is the shade called Sauce? Yeah, I love the name of that shade. I love that. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> I was expecting to just literally like pop this, like just all over the lid, just wang bang, done, finitoed. But I don't know, I just really love the fact that I had added like a wee bit of depth and darkness to the outer corner. I had a wee bit of transition. And I just, again, perfect tutorial for this time of year. It's just so spicy. I just love sweater weather makeup. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I love this time of year for fashion and for colors and for makeup looks. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just, that is honestly like, I'm trademarking that. It's sweater weather makeup. <laughs> just comfy, cozy, warm, snug, but spicy makeup. This is just like a pumpkin spice latte in the night. Love it. Um, but yeah, guys, this does come to the end of this tutorial. So thank you so all for watching anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my brushes. Obviously, as I said, they're on clearance sale, so get them now when you can. Once they're gone, they're gone. And I think coming up to Christmas, over say the next month or so, I would like to think that a lot of you are going to be buying them for Christmas because I think I might actually even buy myself a couple. And something else I'm going to be doing now that it is the start of November, I'm now going to be starting to plan all of my Christmas makeup looks. If you're new to my channel, Christmas I go ham. We go glam or we go home. We get fucking merry around here, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. Christmas tutorials are just, oh, they're my thing. I, mm, mm. So I am now in the process of starting to plan all of my Christmas tutorials. Come the end of November, start of December, we're gonna be whacking them out. We go soft, we go heavy, we go glitter, we go everything. I love it. So that's what I'm obviously starting to plan at the minute. If you have anything in mind that you would want me to recreate or just any ideas, any Christmas parties coming up, you just need any ideas, hit me up, let me know, and I will be sure to do that for you. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.